Hi Taurus, it's CJ here from CJ Soul Messages. Welcome to my channel if you're new, welcome back. If you've been here before, grateful to have you all. Uh, today's reading, Taurus, is gonna be for August um, or also whenever you stumble upon this reading. Time is fluid, right? We're gonna open up, I've gotten a new deck that I'm absolutely in love with. Um, I am a visual artist, so I've gotten this new deck called um, The Secret Language of Colors. It's absolutely stunning. Um, beautiful energy to work with. I mean, I was really, over the last little while, I've been manif manifesting, trying to figure out this, I kept seeing this deck, and um, actually, it finally, I finally was able to get it, and I'm so thrilled. The colors are healing, they are um, very high vibrational, and I'm hoping that you'll connect with it too. So we're gonna start off with getting, and my camera is lagging and doing this weird stuff, but we're gonna keep going. Um, we're going to start with getting you a color that you can work with for the month of August or whenever you feel. Um, and then I'm going to do a Celtic spread, okay? So without further ado, let's get into this reading. All right, Spirit, show me clearly what color would be a beautiful addition to Taurus to have around them for the month of August. Show me clearly, please. All right, Taurus. What does Taurus need? What color would benefit them the most? We have watermelon, and you know what's ironic is that this was on the bottom of the deck after I spread, after I cut the deck. Okay, Taurus, watermelon. This is all about having fun. Um, I'm gonna get right into it. I wanna pull all the cards, but I just wanna give you a little look here. Watermelon. So it does say, have fun with your inner child. Yeah, it feels like spirits coming through here to let you know that there's a need for you to be lightening up to take that time to get out out in the sun, have some fun, do the things that you love, especially when you're a child. Um, you know, laugh, play, get giggly, get lighter for a moment, taking a time out. And hey, eating some watermelon is always good. If you like watermelon, it's very good for you. It's got a lot of beautiful nutrition in it. And I really have to pause here because I'm, I don't understand why my camera is doing this. Okay, let's see, is it, oh, still doing it. All right, well, I'm continuing, so hopefully it doesn't bother you too much. All right, Spirit, let's get the Celtic cross and then we'll go through it. Okay, we got, I just seen the Knight of Cups. So this could be something to do with your romantic life. You may be needing to get a little bit more playful. Show me clearly and show Taurus clearly what they need to know for August 2022. All right, let's begin. We have the Nine of Wands present. We have the Hangman as your challenge. The past is the Seven of Wands. The near future is the Seven of Cups. Two sevens showing up here. What you are aware of, what you are conscious of, Four of Pentacles. And what you're not aware of is the Wheel of Fortune. Mm -hmm. Then advice, outside influence, your hopes and your fears, and potential outcome, justice. Bottom of the deck, five of wands. Okay, let's get into your reading. All right, we're going to go back and start with watermelon. My apologies, Taurus. I know my camera is really not working, but hopefully the sound is still happening and that you'll be able to see some of the cards. So we're gonna start again with watermelon. Now look at the color. You know, watermelon, I'm sure you've seen it, you probably have eaten it. It is very juicy, it's watery. This could also be indicating that you do need a little bit more fluid, hydration in your body here. Um, that may help you mentally. I mean, when we don't have enough water, we really, it's hard to think straight. It's so important for us to be hydrated. So that could be an underlining message coming through for one of you out there. But watermelon, it's like, eat watermelon. Have that color around you. Um, you know, you may not be into wearing a kind of a hot pink color, I get it. But you know, is there anything that you have around you that you could, um, even just a, a picture that you could have so that you can focus on that color because that will remind you to have fun, just to lighten up a little bit. Like as tough and serious as life can be, Taurus, there is still always a need for us to get out and have, let our hair down a little bit so that we can cope better with whatever we are dealing with. 
So when we get into the, the um, Celtic cross, we have the nine of wands representing the present, which is talking about you are getting exhausted. Um, nine of wands, that's fire. So it is about you have been determined and you've kept going on some subject here, but um, it is, you are getting exhausted. It's the wounded warrior card. Um, you know what, I'm gonna pause this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just stop this. And I'm gonna try and re get it going. I'm gonna leave it just as it is. There'll be two parts to this reading, but I need to figure out what is happening because I would like this to work as best for you to be able to see. So I'll catch you in two seconds. <laughs> 